To access the options menu, simply tap the blue button on your non-drawing hand controller. You will see the menu panel appear. Options are displayed vertically along the left side of the menu panel. Using your drawing hand, simply reach out and select different options using the index trigger to select them. You can also navigate through option menus by toggling up and down on the non-drawing hand. Your first option is to save and export, indicated by the floppy disk icon. Here you will find saving and exporting options as well as the screenshot feature, issue report, and exit to main lobby. At the bottom of this panel is the toggle to switch between local and online connection. When switched to the left, your saved items will only appear within your headset device storage, but when switched right, your saved and exported content will appear within landing pad. Settings are below and illustrated by gears. These options contain tabs that can be sorted through normally or by toggling left or right on your non-drawing hand. Your sketching aid is presented first by default, and you have the opportunity to sort through your preferences, workspace, and beta settings and features. Your workspace is something worth briefly going over while we're here. In this panel, you can control environment colors and appearance much like you do using the color wheel button. The flashlight also allows you to control the direction of the light source within your sketch. Reach out and grab the flashlight using your grab sphere to freely position it in space. The small image icon below your settings is your reference image options window. Here you will be able to import images to your sketch that have been saved locally or through landing pad. As always, reach out and grab any of these file items from within the panel and place them directly into your sketch. Selecting the torso icon will pull up the prefabs menu panel. Full body gravity sketch mannequins can be brought directly into your sketch, as well as isolated torso or head meshes or even a rigged chassis set. Similar to your reference images, your personal prefab files will appear under the Import Models button at the bottom of the menu panel. The Stacked Cube icon presents the Layers menu. Here you will see the different layers within your sketch. You're able to name, organize, modify each layer's transparency, and even isolate layers. You can also lock certain layers you want to avoid grabbing accidentally. If your headset is tethered to a PC, you will notice an icon appear below your layers option indicated by a slice cylinder icon. This is where you're given direct orthographic views of the viewable objects within your sketch. Reach out and grab them to bring the images into your sketch. Finally, the hat icon is where tutorial videos are organized. Here you can sort through an array of helpful resources surrounding multiple industries and workflows. To hide your options menu, tap the blue button on your non-drawing hand controller, or reach out and delete the options menu you have detached.